Hi folks, this is Tom from Sawdust and Feathers again. Well, we're here working on this. On uh, Jensen, I took the liberty of taking a wood burner to between his teeth and around his eye sockets and stuff here. So when I do burn it, it'll, the eyeballs will still stand out. And I wanted to make sure the teeth stood out. So I did that off camera. Put the size of Walt Birdhouse together for him. And I did a hobbit roof. I love the hobbit roofs. They go together easy, they're quick, and they look darn good when they're done. I think they're really cool. So we're putting a Jensen, we're gonna put a, a hobbit roof on Jensen's head. So let's get down to the build. I want to change, change the nails. An inch and a half in there for the roof. I need two inches for his face. I started saying last week that you got to be real careful about when you're shooting your when you're shooting this wood together with that brad nailer. But sometimes. The brad will take the grain of the wood. I had it happen to me a few times where my finger is in the way and say my finger is here and I'm shooting down here. Well, if the grain of the wood goes like that, the brad will go like that. Then you end up sticking a brad into your hand. It doesn't feel that good. Just because there's no air attached to this does not mean that doesn't shoot that nail good and tight. See, so short out the side here. I'll take a. That's exactly what I was talking about. How it's, I don't know how well you can see that brad sticking out of there, but it took the grain of the wood, and it shoots out. Sometimes it'll curl out on you, and that's when it goes through your thumbnail crazy like that and I'll tell you what it does definitely hurt see what we got here so far see the hairs are going down the side that's just a little continuation of his beard. Let me get that off of there. These two snap kind of easy. You take them like this. There you go. I'll clean that up later. All right, we're gonna stick his roof on him. Let me put the shorter brads in again. Okay, folks, there's Jensen. He's almost put together. 
I had a comment on from one of my subscribers. They wanted to know about the door and how we hang them. I normally cut a hole, drill a hole right in the back of them right here. That way you can drill, drill a screw into a tree or a post and hang them up like that. And on the bottom, I don't know if you can see this, but I cut my sloss of wood and I'll drill a hole down through this. And that's his clean knot. That'll be the clean knot for the year. I don't have a hole in it, so that slides in and out right there. Once a year, you'll take that off of the post or the tree you have it on, slide this out, clean the whole nest out of there. But I'm ready to burn this guy. Let me clean my little mess up here a little bit. I'm gonna put a heavier burn on his mustache. You don't need to burn real bad. I like to burn up inside his nostrils. Under his eyes. Brings out some of the makes the grain pop, makes the hairs pop. I like to burn where I carve the. I would normally do this outside, but it's fat, it's March actually and. We had a really bad cold week. I actually had to take a week off and put out videos. I was selling a toilet in my basement and I hurt my back really bad. Put me out of business for a while. Yeah, I really like the Hobbit roofs. Like I said, they're easy. There's nothing hard about them. They always look so cool when they're done. That's why I use a white stain too, because we like to burn them. This is a treated pine, so it take it'll take the weather a lot better than just a regular old pine. It's a weather treated pine. Put this over here, let it cool down a while.
Okay, guys, that's the burn. Check them out. I'm ready to stain them up. They said before, I'm using a golden pecan. It's a nice light colored stain. I'm at the bottom of it too. Got your hairs cut, you gotta let that stain flow down in there. And it'll flow. Get the back while we're at it. You're only gonna see the back, but don't matter, you stain it up anyways, at least I do. They know my bird house is up. It doesn't take long to make a bird us. It takes longer. It's, uh, it probably takes me about three days. Three days to construct one of these. That's probably eight hour days. I just mainly do it in the evenings at night. So this guy here. He's taken me at least a week to do. Let that run down there. I'll sit them when I'm all done. Sit them on the edge of my bed, bench here, and let them drip dry. Let this stain soak in. I get these rushes up at the Dollar General. Dollar 25, you get a pack of like five or six of them. They're only good for one use. Once you use them, once you're done with them. So it's a pretty good deal. I mean, heck, sometimes when I put perches on them, I'll use a stick as the perch, cut it off the sponge. It makes it good for a good perch. Let's do up the face. Jensen's face. Uh, his name is Jensen. I named him because I was cutting a bunch of videos while I'm doing one step at a time because I did his mouth, I did his eyes, I did his nose on the one video. I wanted to show you how to how to do it, how to cut him in. The eyes are a little bit difficult. Some people find the nose the hardest part to do, but for me, the nose always comes easy. And 
inside that moth. The lips and the teeth are going to be the perch on Jensen here. That bird's going to have enough room. He doesn't even need a stick to sit on. He'll be able to land right on his lips. Right, he's looking good. All right, guys. That's it. There's Jensen. Looks like he's ready to go out for the day. Got his hat on. Hob style. Ready for ready for a bird to move in. If you like our show, if you like my videos, hit the subscribe button, the like button, leave a comment, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for being here. Bye bye.